guys! This video is all about keeping your guinea pigs healthy. While you can't really prevent some illnesses, you can try and avoid others as much as you can. Something that really helps in spotting a sickness is checking your guinea pig's weights regularly and keeping track of it. Weight can go up and down, sometimes up to 50 grams a week, so it's normal that it might look a bit different every time you weigh your guinea pigs. If, however, a guinea pig steadily loses weight or suddenly loses 100 grams in one week, then something might be up and it's time to go to a vet. A lot of illnesses can be treated quite successfully if you can start treatment really early. Piggies are excellent at hiding their illnesses, which makes checking their weight so important. Make sure that your guinea pig's enclosure is in the shade or at least not in direct sunlight. That's also important for indoor enclosures as the sun can get quite hot in summer. If you have one of these plastic houses, I think they're called pigloos, be careful in summer as it can get way too hot way too fast in these things. If you want to move indoor guinea pigs outdoors, spring is the right time to do that as they can get used to warmer temperatures and then slowly get accustomed to colder temperatures. Outdoor guinea pigs need a shed of some sort which provides warmth as they can't really deal with too much cold. In moderate climates they can be outdoors all year round as long as they are getting used to it in spring, while of course in countries where it gets either very hot in summer or extremely cold in winter they should be staying indoors. Guinea pigs love fresh grass. But if your guinea pigs have never had it before or haven't had it in a long time, be careful with the amount you feed. If they aren't used to it, too much grass can upset their stomach. So start with a small portion and then slowly increase the amount. The same is true for every new food you introduce. Make sure to only feed a small amount so that your guinea pig's stomach can get used to it. It's also easier on their stomach if you split their veggies. So for example, feed half of it in the morning and then half of it in the evening instead of all of it at once. Pet shops often offer a lot of things that aren't really that great for guinea pigs. One of these things is a salt or mineral lick. These things contain way too much salt and unfortunately a lot of guinea pigs nibble on them out of boredom or because they like the taste of salt, not because their body needs it. An excess of salt can cause lots of health problems down the road. Also be careful with adding artificial vitamins to your guinea pig's diet. Ask a vet if your guinea pig really needs it. If you feed enough vegetables, supplements are only necessary if a vet says so. Make sure that your guinea pig has enough fresh and clean water and gets around slash at least 10% of its body weight in vegetables. This also really depends on whether you feed pellets or not. Good quality hay is also really important for their stomach and their teeth. They pretty much eat hay all day and the better the quality, the better it will be for their teeth. Hay that doesn't smell fresh and kinda smells like mold or has really short and thin pieces and no long and thick pieces is usually not of good quality. It's also important for their health that they don't sit on wet bedding, so their cage needs to be cleaned regularly. These were the most important points I could think of right now. If you want to add something, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye!